how to download and install Minecraft maps in Minecraft 1.19.1. We're going to be going over every single step of downloading maps, installing them today. But why would you want Minecraft maps? Well, there's some pretty cool options. As you can see here, we have adventure maps, parkour maps, horror maps, puzzle maps, survival maps, and PvE combat style maps that can all be downloaded and installed in Minecraft 1.19.1. You can also play all of these maps with your friends using Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love this Apex so much, we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft hosting. And guess what? On Apex, you can easily add custom maps. Plus, if you do have any issues, they have 24 hours, 7 day a week support. So you can check out Apex again at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. The first thing you want to do is obviously download a Minecraft map. Now, if you've already got a Minecraft map downloaded, awesome. You can skip to the installation section of this tutorial. But if you don't, go to the second link in the description down below and that will take you here. This is our list of the best maps for Minecraft and these have multiple versions. So right now we have 119, we also have some 118, and I think there are even some 116 maps here, but you can easily skip through the sections that you want to install. For example, if you want a puzzle map, you can click puzzle maps and it will take you down here to the puzzle maps, as you can see. We're actually going to install this puzzle map today. We're going to install two maps today. This is one of them. A gift for a lay. This is a really cool map. It completely changes the look of Minecraft, but it's really awesome. So go ahead and click the download button under any other map that you want, and it will take you to that map's download page. We're also going to go ahead and download the very first map on this list, actually, which is an adventure map called Radiant City Official. The reason for this is this is a map that's always kept up to date. Oh, and I also want to go ahead and grab a, let's say, an older parkour map that isn't currently on the most recent version, and that's going to be Pog Jump here. So go ahead and download that one as well, giving us three total maps that we're going to be installing today. First things first, we have a gift for LA, and this is the website that a lot of maps are hosted on, minecraftmaps.com. Once you're here, just scroll down, you want to click on the download map button. You can also get some more information about maps here, but as you can see, the map automatically downloads in the bottom left. Pog Jump is also hosted on Minecraft Maps, so we can scroll down here and again click the download map button, and it downloads in the bottom left. And then last but not least, Radiant City is actually on Curse Wars. This is another popular site that you can see Minecraft Maps on. On this site, come to the right-hand side, scroll down, and then download the version of the map you want. Obviously for us, we want 1.19. Any 1.19 maps will work flawlessly in 1.19.1. You won't even notice that uh, it's not for the most recent version. Like, if it was made for 1.19, you won't notice it wasn't made for 1.19.1 because literally nothing changed about maps in between those versions. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser here, and we can move those maps to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon icons in the top left of my screen, probably the bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this is fully working on Windows 11. Type in downloads. Here, this downloads a file folder here. Open this up and in here you have our three maps, Radiant City, and then we have Pog Jump and a gift for a lay. And if we drag and drop these to our desktop, we can go ahead and start prepping them. Every map you download is going to most likely be a zip file. If it is another file, it's probably going to be a .rar file. Unfortunately, I despise RAR files. You're going to need to use WinRAR and you need to look up a separate tutorial if your file ends in .RAR, but if it ends in .zip, as all of ours do, and by the way, if you don't see any, like, zip at the end, that's okay as long as it's just this kind of thing right here. You can hover over it. It says compress zip file. When it pops up, that is the correct kind of file there. Once you've got these, go ahead and right click on them, click extract all, and click extract on all of the basically maps that you have downloaded. Radiant City is the biggest, so it's going to take the longest to extract. But we can also go ahead and get this going for Pog Jump, right like so. Click extract, and then click extract again. And then also a gift for LA and click extract again. There we go. So again, that was right click, click extract all, and then click extract, and it will go ahead and go through those. Once this is complete, we will have extracted all three of these maps. Here is Radiant City, here is Pog Jump, and this is a gift for LA, but uh, it's not finished just yet, as you can see. There we go, a gift for LA has finished, but we're still not done prepping these maps. We can delete all these zipped up folders, or the folders we downloaded, the .zip files, because we have these folders, but we need to open every single one of these, and we need to keep going through these files until we see some of this. You might not see all of this, but you should see like data, dim one, maybe you see data packs, entities, you should see some of this. When you see some of these folders here, go ahead, click the back arrow on the top left, and drag and drop this to your desktop, right like so. Then we want to repeat the process with like Radiant City, open this up, and there's all the stuff. As you can see, it's got more in here than the other one did, Pog Jump, but that's okay. Drag and drop this one to our desktop. And then, finally, we will do the same thing for a gift for LA. Now, this one's a bit different because it does have a resource pack connected as well. So we can drag that to the desktop. But this is the map right here. If we open this up, there are the files we were looking for. Click back and drag and drop this to our desktop. Now, finally, we have all three of our maps here. I'm going to quickly rename this to Radiant City so we can, uh, you know, know what it is easier. But there we go. All of the maps are on our desktop. 
Let's go ahead and get these installed. To do this, you wanna open up the Minecraft launcher here. And then in the Minecraft launcher, we actually don't wanna play Minecraft, right? We wanna hold up, don't play Minecraft. What we wanna do is click on installations up here at the top. Now, once you're on the installations tab, it's probably gonna look something like this. What you wanna do is select the installation, like latest release here, hover over it and click the folder. That's gonna open up the .minecraft folder here. And in the .minecraft folder, we can see there's this saves folder. If you open that up, that's where all of your worlds are going to be that you have in single player, right? In my case, the Nixcraft world, the seeds worlds here are both in single player. I also have some archives, but these aren't there because they're archive worlds. But nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and take and drag and drop all of the custom maps that we want to install, Pog Jump, Radiant City, and a gift for a light into this folder. Now, before we close out of this, make sure when you open these that you do see these right away. If you don't, your map won't work. So when they're in your saves folder, you need to make sure that as soon as you open them, you see these files and folders. If you don't, it will not work. Again, it might not be all of these, but it should be at least some of them. Last but not least, I am going to quickly install the gift for la resource pack. Boom, there we go. That way, all of that works perfectly once we get in game as well. Speaking of getting in game, we can actually now play Minecraft 1.19.1. So let's go ahead and click the play button here. And now 1.19.1 is going to open up with our maps installed. I am going to show you kind of how an older map is handled with Pog Jump. It's surprisingly easy for 1.18.2 maps. I wouldn't recommend going below 1.17 for custom maps. And truthfully, 1.18 is the limit if you're going to play on the newest version, like convert the world forward, that I would go. But overall, it is kind of cool to see Minecraft can handle older worlds pretty easily in newer versions like Minecraft 1.19. Team one. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. I do have a resource pack installed. Let's go ahead and uninstall that. We'll actually go ahead and turn on the A Gift for LA resource pack because that is required for that map. Because we've installed that resource pack, let's go ahead and do that map first. If we click on single player, here are all the maps. We have Radiant City, we have A Gift for LA, and we have Pog Jump. Right there it is. We're going to go ahead and again start for A Gift for LA because that is going to be the one that requires the resource pack that we just installed. However, it's also worth noting that this is not going to look like your traditional Minecraft map. This is, uh, well, how do I put this? Your own game inside of Minecraft. It's really incredible. So if we hit Q here, we can see that we can move around and all that stuff to get this going. We can left click to start and this is a puzzle game made in Minecraft. My FOV is really low, so if we turn that up, you'll be able to see more stuff going on. There we go. And yeah, this is a puzzle game, puzzle game built in Minecraft and it's truly amazing. Like, it's its own separate game, but we are in Minecraft. And honestly, I would love to see, like, a Let's Play of this. If someone knows of someone who did one, that would be great. Truly an incredible, incredible sort of setup for a, uh, a game. Like, I, I can't believe this is a map in Minecraft that we're playing right now. Like, I'm controlling the LA moving things around. Or the, I don't think that is LA. Maybe that's, I don't know what that is. But nevertheless, there we go. So, awesome stuff there. And, uh, yeah, we just kind of can move through this. Let's go ahead and quit this world. We're going to uninstall that resource pack by just turning it off, right? So, we're going to go into options. And then resource packs, disable that. And now we can play the other worlds that are more traditional Minecraft maps. And that's going to be the Radiant City and Pog Jump. Now, Pog Jump is the older map, right? This is a 1.18 map. And when we double click on it, it just works, right? It just kind of converts it and we're good to go, right? We can start running and playing and welcome to Pog Jump, all of that stuff. We can, uh, where do you get started? I think you just walk in here. Yep, boom. And there we go. We are now parkouring. I mean, poorly parkouring, but we are now parkouring. <laughs> so that is how you can uh, get that going for older maps. Most will do that. If it doesn't do that, you can always just convert it. And if it breaks something or something like that, you can easily just re-download a fresh copy of the map without much of any issue. Nevertheless, last but not least, Radiant City is the final world. And this is a full 119.1 world that we shouldn't have any problems loading into. And we don't, right? It just kind of loads right on up. This is also a very, very big world. So do keep that in mind. But this is kind of an adventure map that you can go around. And as you can see, you've got like different information and all sorts of stuff that you can run around and explore. This map blows my mind every single time I play it. Um, where we're in creative, it's, it's unlocking a lot of stuff. But one of the coolest maps out there, I mean, look at the scale of these builds. Look at that. Absolutely insane. I would love to see this on a server, for example. I think that could be really, really cool. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. That's how you can add maps to Minecraft 1.19.1. If you have any questions about Minecraft maps, let us know in the comments. This will work for any Minecraft map that you download. That could be a YouTuber sort of survival map download, or it could be, you know, a brand spanking new parkour map that's not on our list or anything like that. It should still work without any problems. Isn't that cool? However, if you do have any questions, let us know in the comments. We are more than willing to help you out. But thank you so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if it did help you out, and subscribe for more incredible Minecraft content every single day of the week. I'm out. Peace.